Hey guys, I wanted to make this video because I wanted to talk about the establishment. The establishment has an agenda. The agenda always is divide and conquer. That's what they do. They divide and conquer. Now, while all these people are fighting each other, you got white people fighting with white people over black rights. You got black people fighting with black people over black rights and white rights and every different group fighting within its own group. Sounds like the perfect storm for the establishment. They must be loving it. Meanwhile, these guys say jump and people say how high they're like wear masks all the time even if they're made of like fabric which has pores that are a thousand times bigger than the virus and people will do it meanwhile now you got all the different top experts are saying even the CDC is even saying that you don't need to wear a mask anymore. And yet people wear masks everywhere. You can't even go into Whole Foods. They got a guy at the door guarding to make sure you got to wear a mask. I ain't even heard of anybody who got this thing at all. I like literally don't know a single person who actually got the C word, the Corona. I just don't know of anybody. Nobody's dying. I don't see shit. It's a big hype. It's a bunch of bullshit. Meanwhile, people are still buying. They're wearing these masks. When the government comes around and says you got to crawl on your hands and knees on the ground because the virus floats at three feet and higher, dudes are going to be doing it. Some sorry ass dudes. I, I mean, dudes. Dude term used lightly. But really, this is just ridiculous. And the thing is, that social distancing, practice social distancing, what do you think you're practicing for? You're practicing for being socially distanced from other people. Divide and conquer. Remember, you divide all these people up, then you can rule them. What else do you think it is? You think these people are here because they just love you so much and they want to keep you healthy and safe at their own cost? You must be dumb if that's what you think. They want to enslave you. That's right. They want to enslave you. Now, I know people will laugh at me, but that's because they're not wise. And that's okay. I have people laugh at me all the time, and I can totally take that because I realize that very few people are going to be able to, to relate to my position. And that's okay. I'm happy with being in a small percentile group. I've also been, you know, to 16 different countries. And I've been to Afghanistan. I've been in gunfights. I've been shot and I shot dudes. I had the experience. So, like, I have some experience. Giant fields of heroin as far as the eye can see. And we weren't stopping them. No, no, no. What exactly do you think's happening? You being told the truth? You being kept safe? Pfft. Not like that. So... As this whole thing continues to unfold with the silly mask wearing and all this stuff, we're going to see how this thing plays out. But it doesn't look very good for a lot of people. A lot of these people, I feel really terrible for you if you haven't become aware and no one has told you that the government no longer protects you. The government protects the biggest corporations and the biggest global power brokers. Those dudes own the oil companies. They own all the stuff. And in a way, they own the pharmaceutical companies. And in a way, they own you. <laughs> yeah, they think they do. I'm sure they do think they do. You know, you think you're all free. <laughs> you're free except for the 70% of your earnings that you have to pay back into the system in terms of all the multitude of different taxes that you pay. Well, let's list them all. Income tax, state tax, property tax, sales tax, licensing fee, registration fee, hunting license, fishing license, cable tax, telephone tax, VAT tax, 
food tax, prepared food tax, unprepared food tax. Come on, you can't even say them all. But if you added them together, what do you think they add up to? 1% of your salary? 10%? 50%? What do you think? I mean, like this, the income tax is like 20 something percent. I think it's 95%. I think you put 95% of this back into the system and you really kind of only get 5% if you were to calculate all the math. But, you know, like every single thing that you buy has been paid taxes on it. And then the materials to make that thing had taxes paid on it. And then the importing of those materials had taxes. Everything is taxed on top of tax, on top of tax. But maybe you don't like my 95% number. Maybe you feel like it's more like 50%. Okay? So 50% of your money goes towards the taxes, goes towards like wars that are not for your interest goes towards services that are against you. Come on. So let me get this right. So you're not represented. You're paying for things that you don't want. Maybe you do want them. Maybe you want war with some foreign country so that the oil company can make a billion dollars and you to secretly pay out inflation that you don't even know about coming out of your life savings. Maybe you want that. But chances are you don't. So you're paying for things you don't want and you're paying most of your money. Sounds like taxation without representation on steroids. But you could just continue to just float along and you could pretend to think that the government will regulate itself. It'll prevent itself from becoming insanely corrupt. It'll never, you know, mass murder millions of its own people like pretty much every government has done by the time it got really desperate. So you could keep thinking that stuff's going to be that way. And you could keep being naive. And I can't control you. But I just want to share with you the thought. Taxation without representation. You're being lied to. You're being manipulated through the mainstream media, through the news, through the videos, through the Facebook, through what things you see, through what things you don't. They're manipulating so many different layers. You should really be upset. You should be upset. Only reason I'm bothered with it is because I had this experience. Because I saw the heroin fields that are not being stopped while they claim there's a war on drugs. What it really is, is a war to control the drug game. But because I've seen all the garbage, I've seen the millions of dollars spent on buildings that are going to crumble in three months, and they only build them because they were going to get a contract in Afghanistan, they're going to build this thing, and these guys are going to make half a million dollars, and they don't care if the school is going to crumble in six months. They don't care about it. It's not about the school. It's about the more money that they pipe through the system, the more money that they can steal. You know, the more that flows through the system, the more they can cook the books, and the more money they can steal. So, like, they're wasting your money, they're wasting the blood of people on both sides, people on their side and on our side, and it's all for profits. It ain't for your profits. You're losing. You're losing. So you should be upset. But maybe you're not. Maybe you keep believing. But I'm going to just close this out and just say, I, I really think you should be upset. I think you should be asking, what the fuck is going on here? Who are these people? You know, really, who are these people? And do we really, do you really like these politicians? Like, you think these guys represent you? You really want to, like, vote for your new king every year? What about freedom? Do you even know what freedom is? Does anybody even know what freedom is? Does everyone think freedom is, like, lots of licensing fees and lots of registrations and the DMV? And do you really think that's freedom? Could you imagine how wonderful this world could be and how productive it could be if people were able to live free instead of be robbed to support global wars, to make the power elite more rich. Imagine if that money was like the people's. What if the people could earn their keep and not have to be forced by the barrel of a gun to pay a system that will use the money against them and use the money towards developing systems that rob them? You should be upset. You should feel taxed, not represented, a very high degree. But I'm going to pause there. Because I just took this moment, I was down here at the shooting range, and I felt like I needed to say something. And I needed to talk about this because it was important. And so I did it, and I hope this was helpful to you. If you are still believing the hype, if you're still believing the media, 
you still believe the politicians care about you, wake the fuck up. If you know now that they don't, get together with your friends. Start practicing your gunfighter. Maybe come out to gun church and start paying attention because these guys are bullies and they're not going to be voted out and they're not going to stop stealing because you've asked them not to. There's only one way I know of to deal with a bully. And that's to punch him in the face. And when you break a bully's nose, he'll back off. It's not that hard to break a nose. It really isn't. It's just something to think about. You want that freedom? You want that freedom? You're going to have to fight for it. And that's how it's always been. I thank you. I wish you luck in your fight for freedom and liberty. I wish you the best of luck. And I hope you have a lovely day. Bon appetit. Thank you for watching.